Welcome to the next in a series of little lessons from Lily Rowe. So Lily Rowe has got quite a big lesson for us today, haven't you? Because yeah. the, the last few weeks, your arm has, you show your arm? What? Show your lucky arm. <laughs> it's had plaster cast on it, hasn't it? Da, da, da. <gasps> because what happens? Well, yeah, um, but what did you, what has happened to your arm? What, I oh, broke it. You broke your wrist. Yeah. Yeah, you broke your wrist. Yeah. So that brought to mind a quote from the play advocate, uh, Lady yeah. Allen, which is better a broken bone than a broken spirit. <laughs> So that's what we thought we'd share as a lesson today. That broken bones, although painful at the time, do heal. Whereas if we stop yeah. doing things all together because we're fearful that we might hurt ourselves, then we'll never have the memories or develop the skills or the passion for life. Um, that might have even more serious consequences. So we thought this is kind of relevant to forest school because after all, taking appropriate risks is one of the forest school principles. So, but what does that mean, you know? What is appropriate risk? Is it appropriate to let your daughter break her wrist? Yeah. Not that I let her, but, you know. Not that I desire children to hurt themselves, but you know there has to be like a uh, a value judgment around benefits versus risks. So, luckily, Lily Rowe has quite a simple fracture of the wrist. It hasn't required any sort of treatment beyond a plaster cast, and you know will heal up nicely. So, I guess my value judgment as a parent there is that that is acceptable on one side of the seesaw of benefit versus risk I'm not saying that i wish for it you know obviously for the first 24 hours it was quite distressing for her and we had to go to a and e and have a bit of an adventure there um, but ultimately that level of discomfort i think is worth the benefits of taking risks like climbing things like balancing on things like cooking on fires so the benefits of doing these more challenging experiences are in my mind massive and holistic from motivation you know you want a little bit of risk if things are too easy you know don't really want to be bothered to do them from building up resilience to try again to keep going from uh, the physical benefits of moving your bodies climbing building muscle strength and and fitness you know in a world where we live with um, you know the challenges of obesity and in activity then you know doing things like climbing balancing all the things we do at forest school have got to be a good thing to help children get out there and be more active and of course there is also the benefit of understanding where your limits are and how to manage your own risk so in a way i'm grateful that lily rowe has at a young age learned perhaps where her boundaries are in terms of what she can handle um, and that will help her as she moves forward to understand where her limits are and what she needs to do to grow and develop those limits so she can manage her own risk taking in terms of you know where she's at um, and to be fair even with the plaster cast on that hasn't slowed her down we've been doing all sorts of things that shouldn't be technically done according to the doctor like you know going ice skating <laughs> or climbing up things bouncing on the bed you know going in soft play areas things like that that perhaps are not so recommended not that i'm <laughs> suggesting that you should ignore medical advice when giving it to you but um from our experience 
she was only in distress the first 24 hours and then she was back to normal and it seemed appropriate to allow her to continue to do what three-year-olds do. I suppose another aspect to this is the fear around judgments of others and I confess as a mother I'm thinking oh my god she's only three and she's already broken her wrist you know what are people gonna think oh my god should I stop her from doing things now you know that all runs through my mind too because of the society that we live in and it does tend to be quite a risk adverse society um and perhaps you're experiencing the same things at forest school as well, maybe concerns over parental attitudes or colleagues' attitudes. Um, and I suppose what has brought me back to being okay with what's happened is that recognition of the benefits. And I'd rather a broken bone than a broken spirit, as Lady Allen said. Um, and, you know, there's also, it's important to be aware that there are risks associated with a sedentary indoor lifestyle, you know. Okay, some people may choose to let their children stay indoors in front of screens 24-7 because, you know, they know where they are and that's where they're safe and they're not going to break any bones and they're not going to be abducted by a paedophile and all of those fears that parents may have. But ultimately, there are big risks associated with those decisions as well. Things like, uh, you know, chronic illnesses, obesity, diabetes in the long term, mental health problems, depression and anxiety and all of those things that are kind of lost from not having those experiences, not going out into the world, facing your challenges, realising that you can cope with stuff and you can find out what you're made of, um, as well as the com if you're with others, the camaraderie of facing challenges together, like at Forest School, you know, can we cross this wobbly bridge over this ditch without falling in? You know, can we do that together? And it builds a sense of, um, cohesiveness and community within the group to face adversity together so we just wanted to you know share that in terms of what's going on with us at the moment and a little lesson from lily Rowe. and um just to finish she didn't actually break her wrist out here climbing a tree or balancing on a log or anything it happened at home which again is an important lesson at bedtime, you know, trying to avoid bed, climbing the furniture, reach for a book, boosh, that's how it happens. So, um, you know, accidents happen anywhere, even perhaps with the most diligent of uh, awareness of parenting. Um, <laughs> not that I would say I was a diligent parent in that situation. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, accidents are a part of childhood. So um, I think let's embrace them and give our children a challenging and appropriate level of risk so that they can grow and develop holistically into who knows what in the future. What are your value judgments around risk and benefit? And have you had any injuries at your forest school that, you know, you've had to go through the thought process that I have with Lily Row? Let me know in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so that you can join us in the woods or the fields next time. Thanks for watching. Childhood is a risky time. With a few knocks here, you'll be fine challenge cultivates curiosity so remember the benefits when you head to the tree